Hello everyone and welcome back to more Let's Play Civilization 4 Lonely Hearts Club. Alright, we're nearing steel and I'm about to produce, mass produce muskets. It, it's time, we're switching to vassalage. Uh, Charlemagne will probably like that a lot. There's no one here that likes bureaucracy. Yeah, there's science, whatever. I, I can live with a little bit of a hit to science. I need some gold though. And Charlemagne will trade for, uh, he'll give me guilds. Oh, no, he won't. Who has guilds? He trade it to me. Oh, Justinian, that's right. Yeah, I want guilds because it makes my workshops better. So, uh, what do you want for this? Everything I have. You know what? That's fine. I'll give you all of that jazz. Nobody even hates him yet, and now he can't declare. Please, please. You have discovered guilt. You have discovered, you have discovered drama. Yeah, no. Grocer. I want Oxford and Moscow for certain. Even though I nerfed Moscow considerably. I still have representation in all my settled specialists there, so it's still worthwhile. By the way, this is one of the reasons, I think I mentioned in the last Let's Play too, that the dikes are overrated. And you can just pre-build your navy, um, you can dry docks a navy with a military academy and just get ridiculous numbers of ships from like two cities, there's so many ways to get a lot of ships. And the majority of these hammers wouldn't be coming from the water either way. So whatever. I mean, it's, the dikes aren't horrible. They're, just, they're not the best unique building in the game, viewers. I'm sorry, they're not. You want polytheism in 1360 AD for 90 gold. Shove off. I do want a great profit. That would be pretty cool. Just keep pounding scientists in there. Oh god. Steel! Yay! Hmm. Yeah, military science. That'll let me build grenadiers. You have discovered steel. Man, I've acquired quite a few of these muskets already. I'm gonna convert over to uh, hardcore cannons here. No, I said I'm gonna convert to cannons. Computer's cheating. Yeah, I'll just throw a cannon into the rotation. Oh wow, unhealthiness. That's a rare sight. Alright, I'll, I'll let the uh, cannons accumulate like that for a little while. Oh, come on. Yeah, I'll let the cannons accumulate like that, that for a little while. Um. You know what? Stri strictly speaking, well, I don't think they'll get knights, actually. Well, uh, what's his face? Churchill might. So, just to uh, circumvent that issue, I'm going to have my capital uh, put out some knights on a consistent basis. Okay. I mean, I can build pikes, but they're not as good on the offense. could just wait for military science too, and yada yada. In fact, I think I'll do that. I'm going to take my muskets that I haven't been built out of the rotation. Just build cannons. A couple turns until I get to muskets anyway. Oh, 
I love this, it's hilarious. And the workshops are right there for me. Although my beakers dropped from like 900 something in my golden age to just under 600 now. We demand you cancel deals with Ottomans. No, Ramses. You suck, go away. build ironworks. I'm in the middle of mass military though, so it's probably not as good. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. We're massing more cannon. What do I have now? Alright, so I can ship 30 units over right now. I'm actually going to continue to build some galleons though. And I'm rather than like trying to do a full out naval assault or something, I'm just gonna shuttle them across this channel here, drop units off and come back. In fact I probably have more than enough guys for that already. Hmm. I think after that it's time for some biology. And physics. I'll take a free scientist if I can get it. Yeah, the knights are just unnecessary now. I'll leave some in for flanking. No. Definitely don't want mercantilism over state property. You have discovered banking. I'm a commie a hole. Ha ha ha. Yeah, the uh, state property's food aspect is uh, really useful, and I won't have to pay any maintenance, uh, colonial expenses or anything for any conquests on foreign soil, so that'll be really helpful too. Man, Med's picked up military tradition already. That would be problematic for Grenadiers and Cannons. Fortunately, I'm not invading the Med. I'm invading somebody who doesn't have monotheism yet. Although, he could get knights in the near future. Alright, one more galleon, and that's it. Grenadiers after that. I'll let cannons build for a few more turns. Initial invasion, I'll have just muskets and cannons. Follow-ups, we'll just keep turning grenadiers until that whole continent is mine. Looks like I have the Apostolic Palace um, religion now. I guess that's Judaism. No. Although I don't care. Okay, where is it? Right here. And I need to be an organized religion to spam that. Members. As long as Ramses and Charlemagne both stay in that religion, they're not going to be able to vote for the Apostolic Palace victory, because each of them will vote for themselves no matter what. If one of them switches out, I'm beelining Thebes and raising it, because I don't want to deal with that. I don't want to lose to that kind of garbage. I don't know where Thebes is, but I will find it in like a second and just raise it. Alright. This is unhappiness, so I'll just build some of these dealies. Grenadiers and cannons. I haven't done this since like my monarch days back in like Nobles Club 5. I wasn't even the Nobles Club host yet. These won't fare very well against uh, Redcoats, but I don't think they'll need to. Come on. Yeah, I can fit some more.
Oh wow, got some AIs researching replaceable parts already. Alright guys, well that's all the time I have for this one. In the next one we will begin the invasion of the backward continent and continue teching off to military techs, probably assembly line to end the game. I'll see you in the next segment.